Hey guys, I'm Paco the Realtor. 16 years of experience, helped over 200 families buy and sell the American dream. I'm a local expert, I'm a professional, and I take care of my clients. I pride myself in educating my clients, and I'm also really sarcastic and a storyteller. So why don't you guys get to know me? What's up guys, this is Paco, Paco the Realtor, local expert, storyteller, RX Real Estate. I am doing a virtual open house. What is an open and virtual house? I'm glad you asked. So let me explain what a virtual open house is. It is when I spend some time bringing the house to you via Facebook Live. I answer questions, I give you a tour of the house. You could ask for to see any part of the house you want. And I will go ahead and walk through and make sure that you see it. So I am right now starting in the backyard. This home is located in Menifee, in the city of Menifee, Heritage Lakes. It is a um, five bedroom, three bath, a little under 2,600 square feet on a cul-de-sac. Um, it is walking distance from the trails, the parks, and the lake. Absolutely beautiful, and it's a single story. So I am gonna go ahead and um, show you this gorgeous home, walk around, show, out, show off all the uh, interesting aspects of it, and your guys' job is to kind of ask questions. Um, I will go in and out of the house. I'll answer questions as they come through. Um, I'll point out all the things that make it interesting, what makes it unique, what makes it special, um, all those little things that you might not just be able to notice on camera unless you're here in person. All right, guys? So right now, there's a reason why I'm sitting down because if you like to host and you like to um, drink beers and have a family and have a dog and have potential RV parking, this is the house for you. So let's start. All right, guys. This is the backyard. Oh, I always do that. So I'm going. So you have the built-in patio there that goes in right with the house. You have this beautiful backyard. You have space for the dog, space for the kids. And I'm trying not to get sun here, so I'm gonna go a little quick here. You got the fire pit right there. If you would like to grow vegetables and gardens, it got a green thumb, there you go. If you want uh, some animals, chickens, you have this whole side of the yard ready to go. I, I would like to show you oh, how it looks from the side. Look at that. Now, let me show you the potential RV parking. Let me, let me show you RV parking. You'll probably see my daughter. Maggie, yeah? call mommy and tell her I'm doing a Facebook Live. Go. Go. So let me show you guys the potential of this house here. So the house is on the end of a cul-de-sac, right? So there's no neighbors. As you can see, there's absolutely no neighbors here. I'm gonna put my phone above so you guys can see what i'm talking about so cul-de-sac right nothing there so you have this fence here you got plenty of rv parking and it's already cemented for you now they have kids so they're using the, it for a pool um, low network connection sorry guys about that wife so you have all the cemented space they use it for pools right now But you could use this could be RV parking. You could park into that for the rustic view. So let's go inside now. All right, now remember, this is a single story. Everything these days is two stories, right? So you have a huge house that's five bedrooms, but it's a single story. One. So remember that. All right, here's a dining room, formal. I wanna point out again the uniqueness that they put in. You have a huge open kitchen. Microwave, oven, fridge, a huge island that you could use to eat in. Look at this. So if you like to cook, this is your kitchen. Let me show you. 
from here. Look at that, completely open. All right, here's your living room. And you can see how big it is because of all the furniture they have in here and they still have up flo updated flooring. Let me give you another view. They went ahead and recorded, I mean recorded. They set this up, they got boys and this house is beautiful with boys. And this is their little play area, which I think is so creative on how they did it. They take great care of this home. You could tell. They All right. Spare bedroom. This would be considered the guest room. your closet these are more as a little sit sitting area right and that has right next to it let me turn on the light here the bathroom upgraded backsplash dark cherry colored cabinets or uh, vanity I apologize so you have the guest on that side, on this side. Isn't this the cleanest washer and dryer room you've ever seen in your life? Look at that. Clean, spotless. You got some cabinet space there. Let me start with the bedroom on the end. This is the one they use for their office. They all are great size. Walk-in closets. See, she's got a bed, TV, desk, and she still got. They still have plenty of space in here. All right, and then I want to walk to the next bedroom, which is one of the boys. There you go. Another walk-in closet, as you can see. The bedrooms do have carpet. We have uh, nice flooring throughout, but we have the carpet here. Another the boys' room. With another walk-in closet. Boys. And they keep everything so spotless. All right, so now let me show you the master bedroom. So I will go from here. Look how big this is. She has a rustic look, they do. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, then you have some cabinet space. Then you walk into the bathroom. You have the separate shower. You got the tub. I don't want to see myself on camera. And then you have his closet. And then you have in here, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but you have a huge walk-in closet that they have in there. You just gotta take my word for it. So a home is perfect for a family, growing family, something that's looking to upgrade. Uh, due to the fact that it's a single story. It's also good for an older couple that's looking to, um, still has a family, but they're tired of going up and down in the uh, uh, stairs. So if you're looking to live in an area that's absolutely safe, beautiful, you want access to trails, lakes, grocery stores, freeway, that's ready to go turnkey. A house, you know, I gotta fix this, I gotta fix that. Then this is a house for you. Um, it's the fridge, washer and dryer are negotiable. Um, the master bedroom is also has it set up for you to um, put surround sound in there. 
the garage is actually can fit a really big vehicle, high terrain vehicle. It's not one of the small garages, um, which I just found out today, by the way. I didn't even know the, the difference. I did not notice the difference between this and the other development. The house features everything you would ever want in great condition, single story, right neighborhood, cul-de-sac, near parks. It's everything you want. So really the question is if you're looking to buy and you're looking to buy in, in the price point of uh, between say 415 to 450, this is something you want to take a look and consider. Uh, one of the biggest things uh, of the area, of the, if you're not familiar with the area, is that it's growing. Uh, they're expanding Newport, the shopping centers over there, um, just one street down, forgot the name of it now. Um, I can't remember. Uh, they're also expanding that, that bridge there. Uh, so this is future growth. And you want uh, neighborhoods that are transitioning up, not transitioning down. The neighborhood is excellent. Uh, the neighbors here are great. I got paid to say that, by the way, because I actually know them. They're past clients of mine. Um, actually, the neighbors are great here. Um, I was just outside and the kids all hang out in the cul-de-sac. It turns out the dogs also hang out here in the cul-de-sac because everybody knows each other. It's that type of neighborhood. Uh, but I would say to me the biggest thing is in this day and age is the fact that you have a single story at the end of a cul-de-sac with a good piece of land money into it after you, um, you buy it. It is absolutely ready to go. So if there's a certain part of the house that you guys want me to uh, show you, I'll be more than happy to. I'm going to go ahead and go to the backyard again, start from there and then walk back inside and I'll show you that prop, the house again. Um, so I can show you exactly what th this looks. To me, the backyard is big. Uh, so I think that is a feature that I really need to make sure people know. So. And then let me show you the other side, which I think is, is even better. If for all those of you that are paying for RV parking, let me show you why you need to stop paying for RV parking and just park all your toys here. They have a pool here, but this is completely cemented from all the way over there. Yeah, it's like the and because you're on a cul-de-sac, you're able to drive, you can actually just take that So remember, if you're paying for RV parking, you have the potential here to park your toys. Now, with the HOA, you just gotta make sure they're not on the street or showing, but the yard goes so far back, it's so deep, that you actually won't see the toys, which is what you want anyways, right? You don't want nobody messing with your toys. All right, so I walked back into the house from the backyard. Gorgeous kitchen. And she's got three boys and they keep it this clean. I have one daughter and I can't even, even my daughter was like, how do they keep it so clean? My hat's off to them. Walk-in pantry, of course. It's wired for surround sound. Nice big old TV. And then the boys playroom. Another view. All right. So remember, this is the in this is the entrance. All the bedrooms for the family are to the right, the guest bedroom is to the left. This is the garage, that's the handle. Take my word for it. There's the bathroom again, vanity, shower, backsplash. 
And then they have here one of the uh, rooms that they just kind of made into a sitting room. Of course, there's a closet because you gotta have a closet for it to be counted as a bedroom, right? I know that guy. All right. So now I'm gonna walk in to where all the, the bedrooms are for the family. Some You got some cabinets, cabinet space and you have the world's cleanest washer and dryer room. For the record, if this was my, mine at my house right now, you would have a pile of clothes there. You'd have a pile of dirty clothes there. You'd have boxes of empty shoes for my wife there. And then all of that up there would be stuff she doesn't use but doesn't wanna throw away. So I'm just letting you know, this is pretty damn clean. All right, and this time I'll start with the master bedroom. I'm gonna go, there's your back, your side yard with your chicken coop. Boom. Let me show you again. She has the rustic light. Plenty of space as you can problem. Updated flooring, cabinet space. What's up, buddy? What, there you are again. Updated flooring. You have a shower. You have your nice tub right there. For those days you're, you're long, you need some wine. Nice big mirror, his and hers, washroom, and a walk-in closet. All right, then I'm gonna go through. That's a closet for more space. Then one of the boys room. Good space, nice and clean, good condition. Carpets are definitely um, in good condition. Don't need to be replaced or anything. Then you have his and hers bathroom, vanity cabinet space, the nice little black backsplash. And then, of course, shower and the washroom. Toilet. And then you walk into this room where my assistant just walked in. Say hi, assistant. Hi. And then you have it here. All right, guys. As you can see, this house is absolutely beautiful. I am going to sign off for a few minutes and then we are going to do this all over again. Um, give you one last, one last view of the house, one last view, answer any questions that you guys, um, and we will go from there. All right, guys, I'll see you like in five minutes. All right, guys, here we are, part two of this open virtual open house. I wanna show you this end. This is what I was talking about. So this is the driveway, so if you go through here, Look how much space you have. If you were to cement all of this and go down there, you could have full RV parking. I'm talking like a lot. So why pay for RV parking when you have that as an option? Here's the front of a single story house. All right, let's go inside. Very inviting. You could hear the kids. It's a, definitely a kid's neighborhood. All right, let's walk into this butte. Close the door. All right, so when you walk in, as I showed you in the video before, if I go left, turn the same If I go left, I have the guest. I have the. No. Okay, if I go left, I have the guest uh, bedroom. If I go right, I have the family one. But I'm going to go. To the backyard before it gets too dark and then i want to walk back inside and then show you how, how that works all right so i'm walking through the house right now all right 
So let me show you this beauty of the outside from the bag. You know that you've seen the inside. Uh, yeah, we're good. we should be good now. All right, built in uh, patio. You have enough room here to entertain the family, the dog, the kids, the neighbors, the barbecue. Throw a few bouncers for the kids. Look at that. If you are looking, if you have a green thumb, you got over here. Look at that. If you are looking for of a cul-de-sac, and here's why you have so much space. And then before I go inside, I'm going to will not run out of space. Maggie, are you drinking? Look at that. Perfect. This is a perfect night right there to hang out right there, put a fire, have a brewski, and then uh, hang out with the neighbors, which actually they're doing up front right now. Because this is that type of neighborhood it is, right? All right, let's walk in now to the kitchen. All right, look at this. So, microwave, oven, island, upgraded cabinets, fridge, pantry, all that ca um, counter space of the formal dining, of course. And then when you're hanging out over here in the kitchen, you can actually see the open. Up upgraded flooring. You got um, sprinklers, fire. You have uh, first surround sound built in right there. Upgraded, uh, everything about this house is beautiful. The playroom for the boys. Yep. All right, so let's go in now. The guest room is right here. So this is a bedroom that was converted kind of into a sitting room, as you can see. You have your updated, upgraded vanity, backsplash, cherry, kind of like a cherry, dark cherry uh, vanity. And of course you have your shower, right? Alarm system, more cabinet space. Now I'm going to the other side of the house, the world's cleanest Washer and dryer room. All right, if I go right, it's all the other bedrooms. If I go left, it's the master. So let's show you where, let's start with the master. Here's the master bedroom. She's got the rustic look. A lot of space. You have more cabinet space that's looking down the hall. What's up, buddy? You walk in, you have your shower, you have your tub, nice big tub. You have his and her sinks. Walk-in closet, which is pretty big, by the way, and the washroom. Then I go down here. And then I go to the left, and that is... There 
you go. One of the boys, first room. And then the second one. Walk-in closets, of course. Then you got the boys' bathroom in here. All right. Nice backsplash, his and hers, of course. Upgraded flooring. And of course, the shower. All right, then I go to the last bedroom, which is being used like an office. So as you can see, this house is absolutely beautiful. So the point of a virtual open house is to bring the house to you to showcase a house in detail that normally you would not look at, see by on your own and the ugly. And in this case, it's really all good. Uh, that is the point of all of this. Um, so my goal is to bring this beautiful home that's located in Menifee over to you guys. So in case you yourself or someone else is looking to live in a neighborhood that's absolutely gorgeous on a cul-de-sac in a single story in a neighborhood that's growing affordable, uh, surrounded by a lake, uh, um, parks, trails, and a lot of growth. And it's an absolutely good neighborhood. Uh, the neighbors next door are absolutely excellent. Um, and it's good that if you have a growing family or if, um, so is there a pool? Hey, Maria. Um, there is a clubhouse and a pool. There's not a pool. HOA gives you access to a lot of stuff and that is one of them um so now they have an above show you so they have an above ground pool that they used for the boys um but if you're talking about you know an a, a in ground pool um that would be um at the main center here um which the community shares which is very very big um, maybe on another video, I'll show you the amenities of it, but, um, it's a lot of trails in the middle. If you're familiar with heritage Lake, there's a huge lake in the middle, um, trails, parks, schools, everything is here in the community. It's an absolutely beautiful neighborhood. Uh, highly recommend it for any growing families. If you want more information, Maria, let me know. And I'll be more than happy to maybe just email you, uh, information on the house or the neighborhood. If you would like that. All right, guys. If you or anybody you know are historically low, 3.4%, uh, um, they went down, and it is the best time to buy because remember, rates is more important than purchase price. Purchase price. You don't want a house to go down 30000 in value. You want the rate to go down because that's going to cost you. Now, if you are looking for a house, um, you need to contact me. I need to show you this house. It's a good one. All right, guys? I hope at least I motivated at least one of you to call me up and say, hey, Paco, I want to see that house. All right, guys. Until next time, this is Paco, the realtor, broker owner, broker, owner of RX Real Estate. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. And I look forward uh, to having you guys actually tour this gorgeous house in Menifee. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you love the content. Subscribe below or follow me on social media. Just type Paco the Realtor.